How often do you deeply analyze your OTP category? Are you more up to speed on recent OTP trends than your competitors? Introducing ProView OTP Category Management from Swedish Match, the industry leader in ultra-fast OTP category management. Why wait weeks for supplier OTP analysis when Swedish Match can provide insight in minutes? So go ahead, build OTP shopper satisfaction and take share from your competitors. Swedish Match ProView OTP Analysis, operating at the speed of light. For more information on ultra-fast OTP category management, contact Category Management at SwedishMatch.com. Retailers across the country woke up to a new reality this month as they got a first taste of new tobacco taxes and price hikes from major manufacturers. The bulk of the increases were dictated by an increase in the federal excise tax on almost all tobacco categories, and that was approved by Congress and President Obama in February to fund the Children's Health Insurance Program. In Fred Hoyt's Smoke and Go convenience stores in Louisiana, the price of a carton of Marlboros moved up to $38.49 last week from $30.99 previously. And in smoker-friendly stores in Colorado, the price jumped from $35.99 to $43.99, leaving both retailers flustered but prepared to take on the challenge in different ways. We are suggesting any alternatives uh, to our customers, you know, any lower price alternatives, uh, little cigars and that type of stuff, as well as uh, if you thought about a uh, fourth tier, a third tier. Mm -hmm. So you, you won't uh, hesitate to trade them down if you make a sale? That's it. People are looking for that. Odds are they're going to go back to their original uh, flavors, but I think that uh, people are looking for deals and we're certainly there to offer it to them. Hoyt also has begun the process of reducing the number of tobacco SKUs in his 18 stores. We are looking at movements and trying to reduce those, especially here pre-floor uh, stock tax. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to get rid of all of our old and or dead merchandise that's not moving because I don't want to be paying any floor stock tax and having to sit on a carton for six months or a year to move it out. While Hoyt expects sales ultimately will be higher because of the overall higher price on the products, he feels C-Stores will be one of the losers in the long run. Obviously, sales are going to go through the roof because <laughs> there's another $7 <laughs> uh, right. uh, per carton that's going to be put on there. But uh, the impact on volume on carton units, uh, I think, is, is definitely going to... Uh, Possibly take a hit. That's one side of the coin. The other side of my crystal ball is saying that anybody who has a operating efficiencies to be able to discount some of the tobacco product category is going to be able to take advantages of some increased sales. I know tobacco stores in particular are viewed as discount tobacco outlets. And I feel that they're going to possibly pick up some of the sales from competitors because people are going to be shopping more. In any economy, good, bad, or otherwise, there's going to be winners and losers. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, I think the convenience store industry is going to be a loser in this regard. Terry Gallagher, Jr., president of Smoker Friendly, which operates 85 smoke shops, is counting on just that change as well, although an initial drop in volume is expected in his stores, too. We do anticipate unit volume, volume uh, making a drop ongoing, mm -hmm. and we, we've budgeted over the next uh, year about a 7% drop in unit sales, and um, while we've budgeted that for our financial tracking and for planning, we, we really are optimistic that we may not see near that sort of a percentage decrease as other trade classes um, somewhat tighten their tobacco sets and right. they start to reduce SKUs to a greater extent than a tobacco store. So I, I think that gives us an opportunity to uh, capture new consumers with our broader offering and our ability to really offer uh, the consumer a brand that may be dropped from uh, grocery or drug or, or even convenience. 
Still, Smoker Friendly has taken this price shock as an opportunity to close some underperforming stores. The chain has shut down 13 sites so far, and a couple more are expected to be closed soon. Typically, um, uh, smaller stores, smaller volume stores, uh, probably not unlike most people's uh, retail outlets. If you you know you just don't do the volume, um, they don't they don't carry themselves, or they don't produce you know enough profitability. So, um, and small. So I'd say smaller in terms of sales revenue type stores. And for Hoyt in Louisiana, the tax hike has had another unhappy consequence. For the first time, the 18-store chain is putting bars over its windows to ward off an expected boost in robbery attempts. I've been trying my darndest to avoid that. Some of our stores are in uh, urban settings that are have a preponderance for, uh, although we've never been robbed uh, at any of our stores in 30 years, I just feel that it's, but we have had break-ins before, mm -hmm. and putting that deterrent up there is something that I just uh, feel is an animal that we're having to go to with 40 to $60 per carton, you know, uh, cigarettes. For more on how the C-Store industry is reacting to the tobacco tax hikes, watch for the April issue of CSP Magazine. Reporting for CSP, I'm Steve Holtz. How often do you deeply analyze your OTP category? Are you more up to speed on recent OTP trends than your competitors? Introducing ProView OTP Category Management from Swedish Match, the industry leader in ultra-fast OTP category management. Why wait weeks for supplier OTP analysis when Swedish Match can provide insight in minutes? So go ahead, build OTP shopper satisfaction and take share from your competitors. Swedish Match ProView OTP Analysis, operating at the speed of light. For more information on ultra-fast OTP category management, contact Category Management at SwedishMatch.com.